The internet remembers. Every click, every search, every message leaves a trace. This digital trail paints a detailed picture of who we are, what we do, and what we think. In the wrong hands, this information can be used against us. It can be used to manipulate, to exploit, and to silence. Our online activities are constantly monitored. Governments track our movements. Corporations collect our data. Our privacy is eroding at an alarming rate. We are moving towards a world where our every move is watched and recorded. This lack of privacy has a chilling effect on free speech. People are less likely to express themselves freely when they know they are being watched. This is a dangerous trend that we must reverse. We need tools to protect our privacy online, tools that allow us to explore the internet freely and anonymously. Tools like Tor, Imagine a world where you can browse the internet without leaving a trace, where your identity is protected and your online activity remains your business. This is the promise of Tor. Tor stands for the Onion Router. It is a free and open source software that allows you to browse the internet anonymously. Tor hides your IP address, making it difficult to track your online activity. When you use Tor, your internet traffic is routed through a network of volunteer-run servers. This network acts like a labyrinth, bouncing your traffic around the globe. This makes it extremely difficult to trace your connection back to you. Tor is not just for criminals and whistleblowers. It is a tool for anyone who values their privacy and freedom online. Journalists use it to protect their sources. Activists use it to communicate securely. Ordinary citizens use it to avoid surveillance and censorship. To understand how Tor works, Imagine sending a letter through a maze of post offices. Each post office only knows where the letter came from and where it's going next, not the complete path. When you use Tor, your internet traffic goes through three types of nodes. Entry node. This is the first server your traffic encounters. It knows your IP address, but not your final destination. Middle node. Your traffic then bounces through several middle nodes. These nodes know neither your IP address nor your final destination. They simply act as relays, further obscuring your path. Exit node. This is the last server your traffic goes through before reaching the website you're visiting. It knows your final destination, but not your IP address. This relay system makes it incredibly difficult to track your online activity back to you. Each node only sees a small part of the picture, never the whole story. Tor security lies in its layered encryption. Imagine an onion, with each layer representing a level of encryption. As your data travels through the Tor network, it gets wrapped in layers of encryption at each node. At the entry node, your data gets wrapped in the first layer. The middle node adds another layer, and so on. Finally, at the exit node, all the layers are peeled away, and your data is sent to its final destination. This layered encryption ensures that even if one node is compromised, your data remains protected. Each layer adds another level of security, making it extremely difficult for anyone to intercept and decipher your traffic. Section 5. Cracks in the Armor, Potential Vulnerabilities of Tor Tor is a powerful tool for online anonymity, but it's not perfect. There are potential vulnerabilities and weaknesses that users need to be aware of. Exit Node Monitoring Since the exit node is the last point of contact before your traffic reaches the destination website, it can be monitored. If you're accessing sensitive information without additional encryption, it could be intercepted at the exit node. Traffic correlation attacks. While Tor obscures your IP address and browsing activity, sophisticated adversaries might try to analyze traffic patterns to correlate your entry and exit points, potentially de-anonymizing you. Malicious exit nodes. Although rare, there's a risk of encountering malicious exit nodes. These nodes could be set up to intercept and manipulate your traffic potentially stealing your data. It's important to remember that no security tool is foolproof. Tor significantly reduces the risk of being monitored, but it's crucial to be aware of its limitations and take additional precautions when necessary. Section 6. Dispelling the Shadows, the Dark Web, and its Misconceptions. Tor is often associated with the Dark Web, a hidden part of the internet only accessible through specialized browsers like Tor. This association has led to many misconceptions and fears surrounding Tor and its users. The dark web is often portrayed as a haven for criminals and illegal activities. While it's true that the dark web hosts illicit marketplaces, 
It's a gross oversimplification to label the entire dark web as malicious. The dark web also provides a safe haven for individuals living under oppressive regimes. It allows journalists to communicate with confidential sources without fear of reprisal. Activists use it to organize and share information in countries where free speech is restricted. Tor, as a tool, is neutral. It simply provides access to the internet anonymously. How it's used depends entirely on the individual. Just like any other technology, Tor can be used for good or bad. Section 7. Tor for Everyone. Weighing the Pros and Cons. Tor is a powerful tool for protecting your online privacy, but it's not for everyone. There are trade-offs to consider before integrating Tor into your daily browsing routine. Pros Enhanced Anonymity Tor makes it extremely difficult for anyone to track your online activity, protecting your identity and browsing habits. Circumvention of Censorship Tor allows you to access websites and content that might be blocked by your government or ISP, promoting freedom of information. Secure Communication Journalists, activists, and individuals concerned about surveillance can use Tor to communicate securely and protect their sources. Cons slower browsing speeds. Routing your traffic through multiple nodes can significantly slow down your browsing speeds compared to using a regular browser. Compatibility issues. Not all websites and online services are compatible with Tor, and some might block access from known Tor exit nodes. Potential risks. While Tor enhances anonymity, it's not foolproof. Users need to be aware of potential vulnerabilities and take extra precautions when handling sensitive information. The decision to use Tor depends on your individual needs and priorities. If privacy and anonymity are paramount, Tor provides a valuable layer of protection. However, if speed and convenience are more important, the trade-offs might not be worth it. Section 8. Tread carefully. Avoiding common pitfalls with Tor. Using Tor effectively requires awareness and caution. Here are some common mistakes to avoid. Logging into your personal email, social media, or banking accounts while using Tor can compromise your anonymity and expose your identity. Avoid installing browser extensions while using Tor, as they can potentially track your activity and compromise your privacy. Just because you're using Tor doesn't mean all websites you visit are safe. Be cautious about phishing attempts and malicious websites, even on the dark web. Engaging in illegal activities while using Tor is not only unethical, but can also lead to serious legal consequences. Tor doesn't make you invincible. Remember, Tor is a tool. Like any tool, it can be used responsibly or recklessly. By being aware of common pitfalls and practicing safe browsing habits, you can maximize Tor's effectiveness and protect your online privacy. Section 9. Beyond Anonymity, the Wider Implications of Tor Tor is more than just a privacy tool. It represents a fundamental right to privacy and freedom of expression in the digital age. It empowers individuals to take control of their online presence and resist surveillance. In a world where governments and corporations are increasingly encroaching on our digital lives, Tor offers a beacon of hope. It allows us to explore the internet freely, without fear of being watched or judged. The fight for online privacy is a fight for our basic rights. It's a fight against censorship, surveillance, and the erosion of our freedoms. Tor is a powerful weapon in this fight, and its significance extends far beyond the realm of anonymous browsing. Section 10. The Future of Privacy Will Tor be enough? Tor has come a long way since its inception. It has become a vital tool for privacy advocates, journalists, and ordinary citizens alike. However, the fight for online privacy is far from over. As technology advances, so do the methods of surveillance and control. Governments and corporations are constantly developing new ways to track our online activities and erode our privacy. Tor, while powerful, is not a silver bullet. It needs to constantly evolve and adapt to stay ahead of the curve. The Tor Project, the organization behind Tor, relies on the support of volunteers and donations to continue its crucial work. The future of privacy depends on our collective action. We need to support organizations like the Tor Project, demand stronger privacy regulations, and educate ourselves and others about the importance of online privacy. Section 11, a call to action protecting our digital rights. The internet is no longer a luxury. It is an essential part of our lives. We rely on it for communication, education, work, and entertainment. Protecting our privacy online is no longer optional. It is essential. 
We cannot take our digital rights for granted. We need to fight for them. We need to demand that governments and corporations respect our privacy. We can start by educating ourselves and others about online privacy. We can support organizations like the Tor Project that are fighting for our digital rights. We can contact our elected officials and demand stronger privacy laws. The future of the internet is in our hands. We can choose to create a world where our every move is tracked and recorded, or we can choose to create a world where our privacy is respected and protected. The choice is ours.